If you're wondering what kind of foods promote autophagy and what kind of macronutrient ratios work for autophagy, then check out this video. I'm going to talk about the macros for autophagy on different diets, like the vegan diet, fasting mimicking diet, ketogenic diet, carnivore diet. So make sure you click the like and subscribe for videos about how to optimize autophagy and fasting. First of all, I have to say that the surest and most effective way to trigger autophagy is to not eat anything and practice fasting for longer periods of time. This video is just a thought experiment to see what kind of macronutrient ratios fit the conditions and requirements for autophagy the best and what kind of food you would have to eat on them. Shall we begin? Most of the autophagy regulation happens through the pathways of mTOR and AMPK. mTOR is the master growth pathway that promotes cellular growth, protein synthesis and anabolism. AMPK gets activated in fuel deprived states where your energy is low. mTOR is going to inhibit autophagy while AMPK is going to support it. Anything that has calories will raise mTOR a little bit and it's going to suppress autophagy. But there are certain nutrients that raise mTOR a lot more. If you eat high amounts of carbohydrates or high amounts of protein, then that's gonna raise mTOR a lot more and it's gonna suppress autophagy. Fat doesn't raise insulin, but it can still raise mTOR because of its high caloric content and break the fast. So the macros for autophagy would have to be low carb, low to moderate protein and low to moderate fat. That would be about 10 to 15 percent carbs, 15 to 20 percent protein, 25 to 30 percent fat and about 50 percent caloric deficit. You still have to eat less calories. Damn it! So let's talk about these different diets and what kind of macros would fit autophagy. The fasting mimicking diet is a low protein, moderate carb, moderate fat diet that restricts your daily caloric intake to less than 40 percent of where it's normally at. You eat 500 to 800 calories of tomato soup, crackers, mushrooms, olives and some nut bars for 2 to 5 days. Then return to a normal way of eating. Does the fasting mimicking diet promote autophagy? Yes, maybe to a certain extent, but it's not going to give you like the full benefits. The effects themselves also come from this huge caloric deficit, not from the foods themselves that you're eating. What I would personally do would change the macros of the fasting mimicking diet a little bit and increase the protein while lowering the carbs because the carbs themselves will still inhibit autophagy if you overconsume them. The minimum daily requirements for protein would be about 0.4 to 0.5 grams per pound of body weight, and that's what I would aim for. A slightly more ketogenic fasting mimicking diet would probably work better. What about a vegan diet? Does a vegan diet promote autophagy? To get autophagy on a vegan diet, you would have to eat only low-carb vegetables like cruciferous, with just a little bit of beans or lentils to cover your daily protein needs. The macros should still be low to moderate protein, low carb and low to moderate fat. The rationale that avoiding animal protein promotes autophagy by suppressing mTOR just isn't true. Insulin is one of the main anabolic hormones that turns on mTOR in the first place. Protein alone doesn't actually spike insulin that high compared to carbohydrates. Therefore, low protein, low fat, high carb diets still activate mTOR and suppress autophagy. On a vegan diet, you can get away with a little bit higher intake of carbs because your animal protein intake is very low. So you have to simply play with these two levers. If your carbs are high, then your protein has to be lower versus if your protein is slightly higher, then your carbs have to be lower as well. It balances out with the insulin glucagon ratio. High carb fruitarian diets will inhibit autophagy even more because Fruit refills liver glycogen, which is central to the regulation of the insulin glucagon ratio. High liver glycogen equals a higher insulin glucagon ratio, which inhibits AMPK and autophagy. Did you bring me strawberries? Moving on with the counteropposite, the carnivore diet. Does the carnivore diet promote autophagy? High amounts of protein will inhibit autophagy because of the excess amino acids that raise mTOR. If you're eating just steak and leaner meats like chicken breast, then you're definitely not triggering autophagy. Although the carnivore diet is zero carb and promotes a lower insulin glucagon ratio, it's still higher in other anabolic nutrients like amino acids and protein. It also lacks the polyphenols and phytonutrients of plants that actually stimulate autophagy just because of their phytonutrient content. To get autophagy on a carnivore diet, you would have to eat a lot less protein and get a higher ratio of fat intake while still eating at a caloric deficit. That's especially more important in the presence of excess amino acids. You would still have to be at a caloric deficit and preferably like a huge caloric deficit, like 50%. Methionine is one of the most abundant amino acids found in muscle meat and flesh. Restricting methionine is linked to extended lifespan because of reduced IGF-1 and mTOR signaling. 
However, glycine supplementation has been found to have the same effects on life extension as methionine restriction. Glycine is found in organ meats, ligaments, drumsticks and all of these bone broth parts. If you are carnivore or eating a meat-based diet, then you would still definitely want to increase your glycine content. You wouldn't want to eat just steak or leaner meats because it's going to increase the methionine content of your diet. Instead, you would want to implement more of these ancestral bone broth parts and these organ meats and tendons and ligaments and those sort of things. You're going to get more glycine while lowering your methionine intake. What about the ketogenic diet? Does keto promote autophagy? The ketogenic diet is low in carbs, moderate protein and high fat which does promote AMPK. It has a potential for supporting autophagy, but it depends on food quality and macronutrient ratios. Keto mimics the physiology of fasting a lot by suppressing insulin, keeping mTOR low, and raising glucagon. To get autophagy on a keto diet, then you will have to first restrict your carbohydrates a lot and eat primarily these cruciferous vegetables. Secondly, you would also want to restrict your protein and get about 0.4 to 0.6 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Third, you would want to lower your fat intake as well, just to create a bigger caloric deficit that's going to enable you to activate autophagy. And fourth, you can benefit from adding these autophagy compounds like ginger, turmeric, and green tea and coffee and those sort of things. Not tea. If your goal is to promote autophagy from a diet that is severely restricted in calories, whether that be the vegan diet, carnivore diet, or the keto diet, then all of those things, they're not like very sustainable ways of going about it because you can't or it's not optimal to be eating very low protein all the time. That's why it's a much more effective and a smarter way to get adequate amounts of protein and other nutrients from your diet and then practice intermittent fasting as well as this prolonged fasting. You're gonna get a much more effective boost in autophagy while at the same time you're gonna prevent muscle catabolism and you're still able to stick to it in the long term. If you were to compare the effects of autophagy on a longer three to five day fast with a fasting mimicking diet, with a fasting mimicking vegan diet or a fasting mimicking keto diet, then you would always get three to five times more autophagy on the extended fast just because you're not consuming any calories and you're going to go deeper into ketosis and deeper into autophagy it's not only going to help you to maintain more muscle but it's also going to get you more autophagy and activate it further if you want to know how to optimize different foods and macros for autophagy as well as longevity oriented performance then check out my book metabolic autophagy but other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click the like subscribe notification bell as well my name is seem Stay autophagic, stay empowered. Tea.